Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Those of you that subscribe to the Lost History channel and CF App 7865 will have probably seen their respective videos made yesterday, that a new enormous Maya structure has been discovered in southern Mexico. Using the incredible LiDAR technology, which I featured in a number of videos on my channel over the years, experts located the discovery at a site called Aguada Phoenix near the Guatemalan border, around 850 miles east of Mexico City. Amazingly, it is around 1,500 years older than the amazing pyramids of Tikal and Palenque. It was built with clay and earth and not stone. It is a colossal rectangular elevated platform topped by a number of structures including a 13 foot high pyramid. The platform measures a quarter of a mile in width, or around 400 metres, 9 tenths of a mile long, or 1,400 metres, and it stood 33 to 50 feet high, or 10 to 15 metres. That means that its total volume is greater than the Great Pyramid of Egypt. Experts estimate the volume to be around 130 million cubic feet, and experts think it would have taken 5,000 people more than 6 years of full-time work to build. There are no signs of sculptures or reliefs relating to specific high-status people, suggesting that Maya culture in this earlier time was more communal, and only later developed social inequality in a royal hierarchy, or so the experts think. No residential buildings were found on or around the structure, so it isn't possible to gauge the possible size of the local population, but due to the size of the platform, it does seem that this was a site of importance for ancient people. Talking to the media, Takeshi Inamata of the University of Arizona said, Because it is so large horizontally, if you walk on it, it just looks like the natural landscape, but its form comes out nicely in LiDAR. For those that don't know, LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging, a remote sensing technique that employs a pulsed laser gathering data as it flies on a drone or plane over a site of interest, giving researchers three-dimensional information about the shape of surface characteristics that can't usually be seen, because of the cover of such things like trees and vegetation. After analysing the results, the archaeologists identified nine large causeways and a series of reservoirs that are linked to the structure. Inamata continued, It is probable that many people from surrounding areas gathered for special occasions, possibly tied to calendrical cycles. The rituals probably involved processions along the causeways and within the rectangular plaza. The people also deposited symbolic objects such as jade axes in the centre of the plateau. It's amazing how such a large and ancient ceremonial complex has been hidden in plain sight for so long, and the discovery supports the emerging view that some of the earliest Maya structures were actually significantly larger than those built more than a millennium later, during the classic period of Maya history, between 250 and 900 AD. This is when experts say the empire was at its peak. Just look at this amazing picture. You can see the large rectangular platform with a long narrow ridge through the centre, and what looks to be two pyramids marked here. It reminds me a little of the enigmatic Cursus Monuments of ancient Britain, and one of the best examples of Cursus Monuments is seen just a stone's throw away from Stonehenge, and it actually predates the large standing stones. The platform has been radiocarbon dated to around 1000 BC because charcoal was found inside the complex. It is believed to have been abandoned around 750 BC. So, LiDAR once again proves to be a truly revolutionary technology that is expanding our knowledge of ancient people, leading us to major new discoveries every single year, and long may it continue. This discovery was published this week in the journal Nature, and I've linked the full paper in the description below. I would certainly advise reading it, because this really is an incredible major discovery. Looking at this view, and you can see that the platform actually looks somewhat like a Christian cross. Thankfully, it was discovered in the year 2020, because any earlier, and there would no doubt be a church right in the middle of it. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, 
and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.